stand by. You're waking up with Les Shockley. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. On Tunes 92.5. It is your Tunes, Tunes 92.5 on the line right now. And I'm very excited about it. Colin McDonald from The Trues is on the line right now. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Colin, thank you for calling in to talk to us this morning, brother. I do appreciate it. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Excellent. Well, tired up the, up the hockey game last night. How did you feel about the game last night? I was fine. I was pretty disappointed. I I'm sure you were. I saw that yeah. a lot of the Canucks fans were getting uh, awfully, awfully upset. I saw they were uh, uh, kind of just destroying parts of <laughs> parts of Boston. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a good, good, good series, man. Good series. I was rooting for the Canucks yeah. myself. Yeah, it was, it was good. And uh, you know, Tim Thomas definitely deserved the Conn Smythe there. And yeah, an incredible goalie. And you know, it's just a little disappointing. I was hoping for like a, a better game, and obviously hoping that the Canucks would win. No, absolutely. Well, that was it was a good series, that's for sure. Uh, we're talking today uh, with Colin, go. again, from the Trues. Uh, they're coming to Watertown. They're coming to Syracuse. You guys are pretty much going to live in northern New York for a few days as of yeah. next week. Uh, when yeah. do you guys uh, plan on heading down here? Is your first stop uh, to northern New York the Syracuse show at the Westcott Theater, correct? Um, I think so, yeah. I have to double check. Yep, yep. You're going to be there next Wednesday. It's going to be an awesome performance. You guys are playing there. And then you're going to yeah. join the hip uh, back here yeah. in Watertown. And everyone is excited about your performance here at the Watertown Fairgrounds Arena with the Tragically Hip. How many times have you guys played with the hip? Um, do you even know? A few shows. Pardon me? Do you, even, do you even have a number? I mean, it seems like I've seen you guys play them with them before and open for them before. And it seems like you guys, yeah. are, uh, you guys are always with them. Yeah, um, we, uh, we've done a few shows with them um, over the years. Um, it's always great. I mean, they're an amazing live band and uh, an amazing band, period. And, they, uh, yep. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. And, um, you know, uh, Gord Sinclair, the bass player, yes. uh, produced our last record. Yes. With a, with a co-produced it with my brother. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to playing with a great band and... I think it's going to be a really great night. It's going to be an outstanding show. It's going to be a great night for music. Uh, how did you guys first get in with the uh, boys from the Hip? Because I know you guys are originally from Nova Scotia. The Hip's from Kingston. Yeah. And right. how did you guys get together? Um, uh, we, uh, back in, I think, 2004, we okay. the first time we ever opened for them. We played at a, at a, play, uh, a gig with them in Kingston. Okay. And, um, yeah, we just, you know, we hit it off. And, you know, we've been friends with... Uh, for, for many years, he's always come to all our gigs in uh, in Kingston, and you know, he's, you know, drink beers and talk about music and just hang out. And then eventually, we just ended up working together, and it was. Uh Really kind of cool. It's an amazing matchup. The groups work perfectly together. I love seeing you guys in concert together. So everyone is really excited about you guys coming to your Watertown area. Everyone's pumped yeah. about the big show. Uh, I, you know, a lot of people. I'm sure there's some folks out there in the area. Everyone's saying, "Oh, the truth, the truth," because you guys played here. Uh, a little while ago, you played actually a gig at the Hotel Adams, which was a yeah. lot kind of local bar. I don't know if you guys remember that particular gig, yeah, but I, you guys... I, I remember it well. It was great. It, it was, was a really... hot, hot, sweaty, yeah. sticky evening, but what a man, what a night for music. You guys rocked that place. I was there uh, fist pumping yeah. and having a great time. Yeah, it was, uh, I'm, I remember that gig well, and it was, it was definitely very hot in there, and... Uh, and very energetic and awesome, so uh, it's a great place to play. Absolutely. Now, you guys have been around a long time. Uh, I found out uh, about the Trues initially first when you came out with the House of Ill Fame album, which, by the way, one of the best bits of music I've ever heard in my entire life, that particular album, brother. That oh, was thanks, some killer, dude. killer, killer music, dude. And I love your new stuff. In fact, I was jamming on The uh, the World I Know earlier today, oh. and I'm digging Hope and Ruin, man. I think everyone else is going to love it, too. Uh, we're jamming oh. it here at the station, man. Uh, oh, tell us a little bit about the new album. Um, you know, it uh, kind of came together uh, in, uh, you know, it started out in January 2010. We were, when we were out in Kingston at the, at the Trash Clip Studio, actually, the Bad House. And uh, we just were demoing and stuff. And, uh, you know, before we knew it, we, we started making a record. And I mean, we didn't even really have the intention of starting to make a record. And it just started to sound real good. And, and we... You know, just uh, did a week in January, you know, a week in, in February, a week in March, in April, and by May we, we had a record, you know, we, had a, we were mixing songs. So, uh, yeah, it came together kind of accidentally but, uh, and, and organically. Sometimes and was, the uh, best albums are made that way, it seems like, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. And, you know, we're certainly proud of it. And, you know, and uh, the songs are really get great. I mean, we, we were playing a lot of them live, which is a good sign. Oh, that's a huge um, sign, and that's what I like to see too in concert, man. Yeah. Playing those albums live off that new track, it's gonna be great. Yeah, man, for sure. 
Hope and Ruin is the new album. It is, uh, it's, it's an amazing uh, bit of work, man, and I, I love it. We've been jamming in here on Tunes for quite some time now, so I'm glad you guys put it out. Uh, we can't wait to see you here in Watertown. We can't wait to see you in Syracuse at the Westcott Theater. Uh, it's going to be an amazing time with the Trues on the phone right now with Colin McDonald from the Trues. Tell me really quick. i got to ask about this because I've, I've, done, I've, I've seen it for a while in time, and I've actually been wanting to talk to you about it. Tell me about the, is the trues, the name the trues, is that really like a Scottish term for trousers? Is that really what it is? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's, <laughs> that's what it means. That is like, too cool. It is, uh, yeah. The, the most uncool definition for a cool sounding name. It truly is, and man. It, yeah. <laughs> the trues, but, I pull up the trues. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, we we tried with the, with the idea of us actually wearing, like, when we first... Uh, our first album, like, who was just true on stage? But then we thought maybe it would be a little bit too much like the Bay City Rollers or something. Ah. So, <laughs> yeah. So well, we, decided, we, decided, we decided against it. Well, I think I think you guys made the right decision, and I think you made the right decision with the name, though, because uh, I love it, and uh, you guys are awesome. You guys are practically our neighbors here, as we are only about a half an hour from the Canadian border, so... Uh, we're yeah. very, very pumped about you guys coming into town uh, and playing yeah. Syracuse, playing with the Hip Man. It's going to be great. You guys need to just check out the Trues. They got a really nice. Who does your website design, by the way? Because man, uh, I got to get a hold of this guy. Yeah, it's a guy named David Bastido. He's based out of Toronto. He's incredible, dude. TheTruesMusic.com. Yeah. It's a really cool website. You can listen to the world. I know you can listen to that on there. You can listen to uh, uh, Hope and Ruin. There's all sorts of good stuff on there, and uh, cool. every all, everything you need to know about the Trues is on the website. So. We're looking forward to you coming, brother. I really appreciate you calling me today, man. All right, man. Have a great one. We'll see uh, you in about a week. All right. We're really looking forward to it. All right, brother. That's uh, on the phone. Call McDonald from the Trues. Your tunes, Tunes 92.5. Stand by. You're waking up with Les Shockley. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. On Tunes 92.5.